Reveal new information about why a Balcones Heights police officer and self-proclaimed gang member was executed by the Texas Mexican Mafia in May of 2014. The documents filed last week reveal that Officer Julian Piscina claimed membership in a brutal prison gang and was even selling drugs to Mexican Mafia members before he was ambushed. The night team's Tim Gerber has new details in this Defenders report. This court documents part of the federal government's case against Alfredo Cardona and Jesse Santibanez revealed Julian Piscina's May 2014 execution was planned well in advance. The documents state Piscina claimed to be a Texas Mexican mafia member who had not reported to the gang in six years. For that, he was fined $6,000. Piscina then allegedly reported to the Northside Texas Mexican mafia leadership, including gang sergeant Jerry Drogo and Lieutenant Ruben Reyes. The government contends Piscina began selling drugs to Mexican mafia members. Members. The documents state Drogo once took Piscina with him to collect the dime, which is a street tax to drug dealers. And one of those drug dealers identified Piscina as a cop. Piscina gave two different stories on how he became a member of the gang and his tattoos associated with the gang, which he proudly displayed on his Facebook profile. Those tattoos began raising the suspicions of Piscina's fellow officers who took their concerns to their chief. Reyes passed the information on to his superiors who ordered Piscina's murder. Reyes told Adrogo to put a team together for the murder. He tapped Cardona, a gang prospect, and Santibanez, a member in bad standing who owed a favor to be the gunman. The three men studied Piscina's routine and even dug a hole in which to bury him before shooting him. On the night of the murder, the documents say Adrogo called Piscina to arrange picking up his weekly dime payment. Adrogo dropped off Cardona and Santibanez on the side of the building, and they ambushed Piscina, killing him with gunfire from a shotgun and a handgun. The crime caught on the store's surveillance camera and an undercover surveillance camera set up by the FBI, which was investigating Piscina. Those new details are part of the government's plea deals offered to Cardona and Santibanez. They're both being offered 30-year sentences with five years of supervised release in exchange for guilty pleas. Jerry Drogo pled guilty to his role in the murder last year and is waiting to learn what his sentence will be. Meanwhile, Ruben Reyes pled guilty to several murders he committed for the gang, including Piscina's. A federal judge handed him five life sentences in December. Isis? All right.